Good day guys, Bing here. Um, yesterday we modeled this family. So this is a, a line based family. So here um, I'm going to load this family into a project. Okay, so this is a project and then we can draw it. And let's go to 3D view. And so let's create similar and then we can just draw it. And depending on the length, of the rain, so it will adjust each panel to suit the the overall length. Okay, so today I'm going to show you so how to do it uh, using railing. Okay, so let's try. Let, first, let's draw. Uh, let me just model one ra railing. So and finish it. So so you will see this is the default. Uh, railing type, uh, type so and there are some different ones so and also this glass panel so actually i'm going to uh, start from this this one okay so let's start so select this uh railing edit type duplicate now i'm going to call it um uh, i'll call it new railing okay Okay, so first, first we need to get rid of this this the the top ray ray rail. Okay, so get rid of the top rail. Uncheck that, and if I click OK, you will see. And um, here we have this warning to tell us the mm, the top reference is below. Uh, just ignore it. Click OK. So you will see the top rail is gone, and then the next step. We need to get rid of these two rail. So it's edit type. These two rail are so this rail structure non continuous. So edit. So if you click delete, uh, there's another warning. Um, I'll just click yes. Another delete. Click OK. Okay. So here is the issue. It says account create railing. So let's figure out what's happening here so i'll just cancel it and the reason um is so if you go to the the baluster placement and you will find here so this is a regular still flat up 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 upright so these are these posts okay so this panel glaze is is this one and so from here you will see that uh, the top top because the top this um, these two blasters uh, are using this top constraint so it's just like a wall and you have a top constraint uh, so when you set onto a level up level um, and so what we need to do because if we delete this rail one or rail two and remember then the top because start from zero i think it's become a zero heart and then that's why it won't work so what we need to do is just change it to host okay host and host and change this one so this one uh, let me think i'll hang on. so this post start from zero to uh, I'm going to match this one. I think this one's 1200. So I'm going to start from host zero. It's just like a floor on the floor level, uh, level zero, and just need to stop at floor level 1200. So I'll just type in here 1200. Same the glass panel. Uh, I'm going to choose oh hell glass panel. Maybe I'll I'll just leave it for now. I'll, I'll change the material later. Okay, so now start from zero as well okay zero here so same and stop at 1100 so 1100 and i'll click ok and now if i click apply so you will see that the these heart change okay to match that high and then we can now there's no relationship between these post and the panel and this ray, ray, rails so we can go to rail structure and delete them oh sorry wrong one 
delete, delete, and OK, and apply. So we'll see it's gone. Now um, we need to create new post profile. So this one. So if if we go to uh, profile, I believe profile, and you will find. So I think where is it? Um, um, hang on, let, let me just go <laughs> find an edit type plus go here and we just need to f oh sorry we need to find this family it's actually not profile so it's family it's under ballast it should be under railing r railing and yep here it is so we just need to duplicate and I'll create a new one 50 by 50 oh sorry 50 by 50 and also double click this and change this dimension to 50 and also uh, you can change the material if you want to so I'll, I'll leave it okay so and okay now we can go to back to this railing edit type and go to here so ballast placement change this to here so see this one 50 by 50 and if I click OK apply so oh hell looks like these are not 50 by 50 so they are 100 I'll change it to 50 apply and also I'll change the panel thickness to maybe 20 okay so I try to map use this one and match that one and now apparently so the panel is not right so we just go to, need to go to panel this one right click uh, duplicate and um, I'm hang on let me just check this so this one's currently uh, about one maximum 1.5 meter I'm going to just create a um, I'll rename it. I'll call it one five double zero as well, and then double click it and change this to one five double zero. And also uh, the thickness twenty material. I'll maybe change to uh, to that the same as that one, but. Uh, um, uh, let's just pretend this one's that one okay so okay and okay so um, now we need to go edit type and change this type to one uh, 1500 okay and once you change this if you click okay and if apply you will see it's not right it's it's overlapping okay so we need to go back to go back here we just need to adjust this so so let's let's um, type in one half of the one of 1500 which is 750 let's let's see what it looks like apply and that's better okay and also you can see the panels actually uh, because the offset one 1500 and the panels 1500 as well so you will see they actually they are they meet uh, in in the middle of the post but um, if you want to make perfect so you can see it go into the post so if you want to make it like perfect so you just need to add that um, post offset so which is another 25 so 775, 775, and OK, and OK. So now, see, it's perfect. OK. So, um, and then, so it looks like it's mat, uh, it's, it's already matching that one. But if I, I'll show you. So I'll, I'll create a wall, and uh, I'll create another wall here. And I'll drag this one, and I'll use this uh, trim extend. Okay, pick the wall face, pick this line based family, 
and pick this wall face, pick this line based family. So you will see this line based family will uh, automatic. So match the width of so um, the distance between these two walls. But if I edit path of this railing AL, oh sorry, I'll just use that one same trim extend. Okay, use the face and pick this sketch line and same here and pick. So you will see because um, uh, the railing it won't um, match the exactly the the distance between these uh, two walls because the panel in this railing won't tra change. Okay, in the line the line line based family it will change the panel so this is a maximum spacing but the actual see you will see the actual panel length is 1375 here so to what we um, we can manually change the um, change the width of the panel to match the distance if, if we need to but uh, it's a little bit um, not very you know uh, convenient uh, compared to this line based family but let me tr let me show you so first we just need to get the dimension so for example this is 85 30 okay 85 30 and oh hang on it's not perpendicular let me just um i'll just make it perpendicular and also i'll edit path and make this perpendicular to the wall okay so now we just need to figure out what the act the the panel need to be okay so let me have a look so first the maximum is the panel width so, oh, sorry the maximum pan panel length is 1500 so looks like we need one two three four five six panel here okay so six panel and then we will have seven post okay so let's do some calculation so cal calculation so 85 30 um, minus so seven post each one's 50 so that's 350 okay so that's panel and then divide by six panel so equals so we each panel will be uh, 1363 okay so now let's let's go here I'm going to create a new duplicate a new panel so 1363 is that right yes and then double click it change this to 1363.3 maybe <laughs> and okay so okay and then go to this railing edit oh sorry wrong one edit type yep and go to here and and change this to 1363 and also we need to change this one it needs to be equals uh, half of 1363.3 divided by 2 bracket and we need to plus 25 which is uh, a half of a post width okay you will see 70 or uh, 700 uh, and 6.7 so control C control V and okay and okay that's it so yeah it's not as easy as the line based family but uh, yeah they are different of course so and also um, railings sometimes it's mm, but, um, more useful because you can place uh, uh, you can place it on a so for example if we create a floor and if I edit modif modify sub element just, just move I'll just make it roughly so make it, it a slope floor and then for the railing I can just p 
pick new holes, pick this floor so you will see. It's always vertical, right? But line based, if I place, so I'll just, uh, let me try. I don't think I can use edit work plane because it's not per, per, uh, par, parallel. We need to pick new, so pick new. Uh, it's not, no, that's fine. I'll just create similar CS. So you can pick a face, draw this on this face, but you will see it will be on an angle. Okay, and also a line base CS. You can you can actually place on any face. You can even make it like a canopy thing. And another different thing is, uh, of course, if you create a top top surface. So for example, I'll just make it a oh hell, this is I'll make it zero. So it's a just it's a sloped top surface. So finish, and we can use ray ray railings on this. Okay, you can just select this railing, pick new holes. Okay, so that's it. Um, today, uh, today we um, had a little bit exercise of railing, trying to match the line-based family. Okay, so that's it for today. If you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.